man. Thanks. Well, I have the great honor of announcing a huge product innovation and a solution innovation that Calyx is launching today. The press releases are hitting the wire as we speak, which is the launch of the Calyx Smart Home and Business, something that we've imagined years ago, and through the last couple of years, we've made real. But I'm going to start with why. Why did we do this? At every point in time, we have to make decisions as to what we invest in and where we go. Why did we do the smart home and business? And the reason why is because, it's, as it says on the video, there's a war going on. A war in the home, a war for the subscriber. The winner in that war is be the, going to be the company who has analytics, telemetry, insights on their subscriber, understands the products that they desire, turns them into great experiences, and then monetizes it, and builds a relationship with their customer. The loser, the loser's going to be the company that Will was talking about that doesn't diversify their revenue, doesn't great, build great experiences, doesn't understand data, and stays in the basement or stays outside. And that war is characterized by a lot of pressures. The first is what we call the invisible brand. The reality is most service providers have a real challenge. You have great brands out in your communities, but when it comes to in the home, you're invisible. You do not stand in front of them at the kitchen. You don't build those relationships. In fact, the time that they call you is when they have a problem. And if you're the brand that only gets phone calls when there's an issue, that's not a great place to be. And there's a whole bunch of companies that want to keep you invisible. We call them the home invaders. Google, Apple, Facebook. These are companies with tens of billions of dollars of research and development. And what are they doing? They're taking data, building it into amazing products, and grabbing that subscriber and pushing you out, pushing you into the basement. And they're not the only ones. If you listen to IoT, the reality is there's hundreds of companies who are pursuing that subscriber. They're deep in that war, and they want to own them. Let's take Samsung building smart, you know, smart televisions. That's a brand in front of them every single day, and on and on and on. And all of this is underlied by one thing. It's all based on experience. You give them broadband, you put it into their home, and then they push you away. But it starts with Wi-Fi, because the only thing that really matters is what's my Wi-Fi experience. Wi-Fi has transformed itself in the home. It's now like electricity in the water. Turn electricity and water off in the home, everybody screams. Turn the Wi-Fi off, someone's out for blood. And the problem is, with this scenario, with the Wi-Fi issue, Best Buy, the electronics re retailers, they're making billions of dollars and leaving you out in the cold. There are people going to Best Buy spending two, three, four, five hundred dollars to buy these massive mesh systems, and where do they live? in 1,400 square foot houses. How much money you make does not correlate to how much you'll spend on Wi-Fi because this has become something so core to your being in the home. And that's why we're announcing the Calix Smart Home and Business. That's the why. First of all, we are going to completely transform your speed to market. Second, we're going to take those brands that have amazing experiences with their customers and give you an opportunity to partner. And last, we're going to shut down Best Buy. We're going to stop them dead in their tracks so none of your customers ever have to go to an electronics retailer ever again because they're going to come to you. And how are we going to do that? We're going to do it in four ways. And the first is we're going to elevate our service. And what I'm really proud to announce, and you'll see it out on the wires, is we just launched the world's greatest gateway ever. Nobody can compete with us. Not Asus, not D-Link, nobody. And it starts with 11AX. Carl talked about it, whether you call it 11AX, call it um, Wi-Fi 6. It is two, three years ahead of the market. And everyone's going to say, oh, it's ahead of the market, you should wait. No. The reason why as a service provider, the reason why you want to put this into your house right now is because when you put it in the house, it's going to stay there for five, six, seven years, and it's going to be awesome. As they build out in their home and they launch IoT, as they add 10, 20, 30, 40 systems, and they add TVs and everything else, no problem. Six gigabit Wi-Fi, 12 by 12 antennas, it can take the load. So you're not going to be replacing it five years from now because it's still going to crush the competition. And then launched with that is a new smart home app. You'll see it. We have 65 customers who are currently piloting these systems, and they have that app. And that app has two applications. One, if you have your own app, no problem, open APIs. 
you can drag all the data. If you don't have your own app, you can use ours. Everything's integrated, you can change the colors, you can change some of the look and feel, and you can put your brand on it. And here's where we go to the max. Here's where we go to the next level with the Gigaspire Max. And that's around something that no other gateway provider has ever done. We've integrated universal IoT, Bluetooth, Zigbee, Z-Wave, all of them supported in a single system. Now, why do you care about that? You care about that because your subscribers are confused. They go into a retailer and they buy a Philips Zigbee light bulb, and then they buy a lock with Z-Wave, and they buy something else with Bluetooth, and they come home and they go, I'd like to make it all work. Well, for the next five, six, seven years, however long you have this platform in place, we'll support them all. You have everything covered, so your, your customer doesn't have to worry about the complexity of IoT. We got it covered. And then the other part is this is running EXOS. EXOS, an enterprise class operating system that has the power of software, and we start with voice services, giving you the ability to partner with amazing brands who are transforming the way that people communicate in their home. And it starts with Amazon. You're going to hear them later on today. They're going to talk about the announcement that we just made. We're Alexa certified. And that means that in the past, when you were stuck in the basement, this system's going to sit in the front of the home. It's going to have your brand on it. And every time they talk to Alexa, they're going to look at your brand and they're going to say, that is really cool. And the last reason, or the last part of that, is that smart home app. Again, your brand at all times out front, and at the same time, new brands coming forward. The third piece, your experience, their experience. We're a networking company. We've been doing this for a very long time. And we know that the thing you worry about is how am I going to manage it? Well, there's hundreds of customers in this, in this room who are using the Calix Support Cloud. Everything that we've built is instrumented, has analytics, has deep insight. So when your customer calls, you'll be able to support them with the Support Cloud. Even better, we're going to do it autonomously. We have machine learning. We launched it in February. And because of the power of this platform, we're just getting started. Every single day that goes by, we're going to launch new capabilities, new automations, so you don't have to get involved, so that we fix it before it happens. And then the services organization, as we heard about on Sunday, we take it very seriously that our job is to teach you how to make, make great things happen. And so we have training and services and automation that we're going to be rolling out to help you as you launch these products. And last, oh, last, revenue. The revenue opportunity. What's the best way to describe it? The best way to describe it is the console market. If you're familiar with what Microsoft, Sony, Nintendo are doing, what they do is they put consoles into the home. Their value is not the hardware. They don't care about the hardware. Who cares? They break even. They make a little bit of money. They actually lose a little bit of money. It doesn't matter. The power is they have a platform in the home. And where they make their money is they make their money every single day when they sell you another game at 80 bucks a unit, 80 bucks a unit, 80 bucks a unit. That's where the revenue is. And what people don't know is in 2002, Microsoft, I happened to be there at the time, went to Michael Dell and said to Michael Dell, hey, would you build the Xbox for us? And he said, absolutely, friggin' not. No way. Why would I build the Xbox? I'm not building the Razor unless I get a cut of the blades. And so that's what we've done for the very first time. We're giving you a cut of the blades. Once you put this platform in place, once you have it ready to go, you're get, then going to be able to leverage everything that we've done on the solutions exchange, private label IoT, and different applications to monetize that platform over and over and over again. And one of the applications we're going to be launching is something called ad insertion. It came from. Um, triangle, Bethany, a triangle, and she's speaking tomorrow. She can ask her about it. But basically what happened is she said, you have this mobile application. Wouldn't it be great to do an advertisement on it? And we said, that's a fantastic idea. And then we talked about it, and we said, what do you do when you're doing a speed test? Well, you do a speed test because you're angry. You're not happy. You're getting a bad speed of some type. Wouldn't it be great if you hit that speed test if two things happen? One, if we did the diagnostics and came out with, actually, there's a problem, so we need to fix it. Or better yet, you, Mr. Customer, are just too cheap. You're on a 50 meg plan. That's why you got a speed test problem. That's why your family's really unhappy. And up pops an ad and it says, but you know what? Just for today, instead of 50 meg, why don't you go to 250? Why don't you go to 500? Why don't you go to a gig? Click here, upgrade now. That's revenue in the moment when the customer needs it. 
And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a little example of another pro uh, program we're going to be re releasing, which is smart home device monitoring. Does everybody remember when the entire eastern seaboard went down when video monitors got hacked two years ago? Yes? Do we remember this? Well, if your subscriber's not scared of the risks in their home, they just don't understand because they should be very scared. There are all of these devices coming, home, coming into the home. Back to the TV. That smart home TV I was just reading yesterday is actually being attacked with malware nonstop. So you have this huge amount of devices coming into the home, and your customers have no way to stop it. They don't even know what they have. So what we're going to release is an application that sits on top inside that gateway, and it fingerprints every single device, iPad, laptop, internet device, and it watches for problems. And if there's a malware problem, it's going to shut it down, and then you have a choice on how you communicate with your customer and say, hey, Mr. Customer, you got a problem. Here's how you fix it. What customer in today's days and day and age wouldn't want a service like that for five, ten dollars a month where they know that you've got their back? And that's how you elevate your brand. So let's take a moment and let's welcome back the Millers who are going to show you this in action and help you visualize the future. Okay. Time to set up my new smart home. Alexa, please connect me to my smart home system. Welcome to your smart home system. Configuring your system now. Please provide your email. SueMiller at gmail.com. Please provide your password. I love kittens. Your smart home system password is set. Would you like to set up parental controls? <sighs> Definitely yes, but can I set it up later? You can set up parental controls at any time. You can also use your system to monitor network security. Would you like to set up your device security monitoring to protect your devices? Absolutely, yes. Security is set up. All of your devices are now protected with smart home network security. Could you scan the devices in this house? Scanning. No security breaches detected. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, that's it. Your smart home system is now set up. Goodbye. Wow, ever since I got this smart home system, things have been really easy. Hey, uh, Alexa, remember that I'm super cool. Remembering you are super cool. By the way, if you go home and try that thing with Alexa, it doesn't work. <laughs> so what do we see there? We saw a single system managing all the system. More importantly, we saw your brand sitting on that system. We expect you to brand it with your brand. And then we saw interactions with Alexa going on, customizations, custom skills, all those kind of things, which allow all the great things that Amazon's doing to become part of your brand. It helps you actually bring your brand in with theirs and participate in those amazing experiences. We also, if you heard her, she said, you know what, like most customers, you know, I, I like the fact that if I have a problem, someone's going to be helping me. And this is all remote management with the Calyx Cloud. Most importantly, or as importantly, we saw opportunity. Opportunity for you to actually go into that home, participate in the experience, and monetize it. Elevated experiences deliver higher revenue. They become sticky. They build you into the, the family's life. They make you so that when someone else comes and says, hey, I'm going to lower the cost, it's reduced churn. They're not going to leave. And because you're finally cool, because this is better than anything they can get at any electronics store, it helps you attract new subscribers. Because people want cool things. 
And this is all about the power of software. What we've done with eXOS, it allows us to move at a speed like we never thought possible. In fact, a month ago, we heard from customers around, they need a speed test app. We actually need the ability to go into an eXOS system and see what the speed is. And so we built the app. It'll release at the end of Q4. And what that speed test does is it gives you a couple things. First of all, from a monitoring point of view inside Calyx Support Cloud, you can now look across your entire broadband network, test a whole bunch of customers, and see what's going on. If there's problems, you can diagnose and get proactive. If there's not problems and you're kicking butt and you've got amazing speeds versus one of your competitors, you can turn that into a marketing opportunity. And for those of you who get government funding, if you actually need to do speed tests by tier, well, we'll give you that report. If you want to do that speed test every day, six times a day, no problem. It's a press of a button. And I encourage you to go to Lafleur 1 at 1 PM if you'd like to learn about how do you monetize those opportunities. But I know what you're saying to yourself, boy, that's really cool. It really scares me, though, because I've been down this path before. I've actually gone and built solutions. I spent 18 to 24 months glomming it all together, integrating it into my billing system, and trying to make it work. And then I handed it to the sales and marketing people, and I said, go sell it. And they didn't. They didn't know what to do with it. Or worse yet, they sold 60 of them. And now you're stuck supporting 60 customers with all the affiliated costs, and you didn't get the return on investment. We understand that. And that's why a year ago, we launched, launched the marketing cloud. Because we believe data is the key. You in this room have access to that data. Google, all those types of folks, the reason why they're winning is because of the data. And so with the marketing cloud, what we proved out through the last year is it works. There's not a single customer in this room that shouldn't be considering the marketing cloud or figuring out how to run it in their business. Because look at those numbers, 46% market reach, 56% take rate. Look at Midwest, 23% increase in revenue. Now, I know there's a few of you in here who are from co-ops. And you say, I don't really care about the revenue growth. My goal is actually to make sure that my subscribers are super happy. To you, I say, nonsense. Revenue is about happiness. Three ways. First, if you generate more revenue, it's because of the fact that your customers are getting more value. The second thing is, you, they want you to come to you and tell them, what do I need? And last, all of those profits, that is profit, goes straight back into investments in the network that allows you to increase the experience, or if you're in a co-op, it goes right into your pocket. And so what we're going to do with the marketing cloud is every single time that we put out a service inside the marketing cloud, there's going to be a data pane that teaches you how to sell it. So when we put that network device monitoring out, you're going to look at that pane in marketing cloud, and you're going to say, here's my 10,000 subscribers in that home. Here's the 2,000 that are most likely to buy. We are going to arm you to win. And then the marketing organization under Matt, they're going to do what they've been doing for the last six months. They did over 200 consultations with customers, workshops around how to sell. And we're going to keep that up. Everybody's pivoting towards how do we help you sell these services? How do we help you put that gig aspire in and then every single day figure out a way to add $10 per month, add $20 per month, add $5 per month? That's our job. And in the end, whether you care about and are focused on family experience, great experiences with subscribers, or it's show me the money, or like most of us, it's both, because we realize that if I create a great experience, they will pay you lots more money. That's why we built the smart home and business. That's why we're doing what we're doing.